This video will cover reporting on the ProSec GPR Live Pro. Just going to start uh, with the GPR app, which is installed on this iPad. I'm logged in with my account, and I have all the files that I've collected. Now, any files that are collected on this iPad are saved to the account that's uh, logged in on the GPR app and they're pushed to the cloud. So if I log off from the account on this iPad and log on on another iPad within the GPR app, which is free to download, I'm able to access all the files that I previously scanned and synced to the cloud. There's also very helpful tutorials within the ProSec GPR app, which cover how to do the scan, how to change settings, how to do data sharing, etc. This video is going to focus on reporting. Now I'm going to go into my scans and open PCTE training number 10, which is a line scan that was previously created, and several annotations were added for the first layer of reinforcement and what looks to be a deeper layer of reinforcement as well. There's two ways to export images. One is to simply take a screenshot with the iPad, and you can mark that up further if you'd like with your iPad, and then you can save that to photos. The other way is to go into the list of files, swipe to the left, and you have several export options. One of those is to export as a snapshot. When you do that, you can mail it to yourself and you get an image file as well as a zip file. Within the zip file, you have an Excel sheet which records all the settings used and has location and depth of each target that you've marked. I'm just going to go and email that to myself quickly and give it a title. So we'll send that. Now, while that's sending, I'll just show you a couple other options for exporting information. If we, again, go into the export options, it's possible to share via URL. So this is really useful if you want to send this file or multiple files to another person. When you open it up in mail and you send it, you get a link. If you click on the link, it'll immediately take you to the GPR app and import those files onto any iPad so that the files can be viewed, worked with, and reported on. The other thing that I can do is select multiple files and again I can share them via URL and it creates a link. When you click on that link it'll import all of those files immediately into the GPR app on any iPad. Just switching over, I'm going to grab that email. It's just going to download quickly. So I've got my image file, and then I've got my report file there as well. First, I'm going to deal with the image. I'm just going to copy it. Now I'm going to go into Pages on the iPad. You could also do this on your PC in Word and Excel, or if you've got Word and Excel installed on your iPad, you can do it there. I've just created a blank template where I've put in the title of, of what I'm doing, location, customer, etc., and a few notes. I'm just going to go down below, and I'm just going to paste in this image of the area that I scanned. And now what I want to do is get the detail of the location and depth of each of the targets that I've marked. Just going to go back to my email, and I can open this file in a zip extractor. And once I've opened it, I can just open that in numbers. I'm just going to give that a sec to load, so it'll just import all that data. So it's got the user, serial number of the device used, 
all the settings that you used, dialectic constant, gain, settings, etc. Now for the purpose of this report I'm just going to do location and depth of each target. I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to go back to the report that I've been creating and I'm just going to paste that in and we'll just do a very quick resizing. And we don't need some of these rows. Uh, calculated depth is useful. And I'll just hide the keyboard and we'll zoom out a bit. And there we have our report. And what I'd like to do now is just export that as a PDF. I'm just going to go to print. Now if I zoom in here, it's possible to just copy that over to Adobe. And that'll just open it and now it's saved as reporting trial PDF and then I can do whatever I want to do with it. I can share it with people or uh, I can share a copy and I can just mail it and it just comes up as a PDF file. So that covers the basics of creating a report with the ProSec GPR app. Now there's a lot of other things that you can do. For example, you can also include 3D scans grid scans, etc. into the report. Again, we can do these all as screenshots um, on the iPad and those are all just saved in our photo library. And we can go into those and copy them and add them to the report and include as much detail as you want. Thanks very much for your time. I hope that helps you with using the ProSec GPR and with doing reporting.